Upgrading to the latest Navi's security version is uh, pretty easy when you're running 140, and that would be anyone that have installed easy security within the last three years or so. The first thing you need to do is import and compile all the easy security objects. Remember not to import the ESACC objects, they're only intended for the first time. You want to open up the security setup and run the update data process, it's under advanced. You want to do the same for field level and data security to run the update process. You can import new recordings with a um, new add new recording function as you're actually importing. That can upgrade the existing permission sets we ship with the new recording matching uh, the latest version in here. And then at the end you can import the quick security groups so you get the new uh, features fully working uh, with that way. I have a NAV 2015 in here with the latest version of um, Easy Security before the upgrade is 14033 in here. There's 141 objects in here. I have also uh, downloaded the latest version. It's uh, 14111 in here. And uh, there's the same versions as normally in here. I have my objects and I have the menu suite if I actually need it in here. So the first thing to do is to import the objects. It's for 2015 and I only want to import this file in here. Again, you can potentially have used a different menu suite in here, so remember to check that one in here, but else there shouldn't be any modified objects in Easy Security, so I can just go import these ones in here. So there were seven new objects, and I replaced the 141 in here, so just to ensure everything works fine, I'm going to compile everything that starts with ES1 in the version list. And all of it compiled fine to make the new menu suite show up. I would need to compile all menu suites in here. And then I uh, can go back to NAV. Um, I want to get the new menu suite, so the best way to do that is to close the client and open it again. If I now go to Department, Easy Security, I'll see it's now called Login and Permissions, and it's called Permission Sets up here and permission groups compared to the role and uh, other names it had before in here. If I go to my security setup and look at the about easy security, I can see it's 14111 in here. And to upgrade the data, there's an integrated process in here. You go to advanced and then update data in here. It will create uh, a new profile for used for recording. It creates um, quick security records, the default setup as if you had installed it the normal way. It updates uh, all three permission sets and um, there is a new feature in here where you can keep a certain number of restore points. If it's currently set to zero, uh, it will keep all restore points. We suggest only to keep uh, a certain number of them, but be sure to go in and lock the one you want to keep before doing the first publish in here. Then um, we always use table zero to be able to execute every table. We have a new option to actually get rid of uh, all these additional records, so I want to enable that one also. 
And when I compare, we can now use the username instead of the security ID, making it a lot more uh, useful. I want to enable that too. And that basically finished the install. I can see my easy security has been set up. My uh, object level security that had multiple fields before has now been all combined into a single one and everything is done in here for my um, logins and permissions now. If I go to field level and data security, we have a similar process. Um, I can go into actions advanced and there's um, really nothing to do in here um, if you actually did the other one. Again, uh, the screen has been reduced in complexity in here, so uh, it's a much nicer and cleaner interface. You also get the new feature user filters in here. There is a um, new menu suite or no, new uh, permission sets for quick security. We have some permission groups. I can go import uh, that permission group and uh, it's in the quick security permission groups in here and I'm going to open up that one. So I got the new three quick security permission groups in here. We also have a new ability to actually import additional recordings in here. And if I look at my current recordings in here, uh, for, for example, customer edit, I will see we currently have version two in here. Uh, if you look at the new data, you will see we have a version three in there also. There is a new function to actually import and adding only the new recordings in here. So in that case, for all the permission sets we have, if you already modified them and make changes, you can with this function actually import uh, the latest version in here. And I'll go import my SOD permission sets down here. And as you do that one, it now, it don't create a new permission set, it checks that it exists, it will um, create a new recording if there exists one with a different name and you see I getting in a version 3 now in here. This one will also be the process in the future to actually uh, run an update um, as we release new versions of these recordings. You can keep on adding them in here so we will be supporting 16, 17, 18 and so on the coming versions of NAV in here also. There's a um, permission set in here missing, I guess, uh, for uh, the role center for small business. So I can uh, create it manually in here at this case. I could also go export it, but uh, I'll just go in here and um, create a new one. and then go back and redo my import in here of only adding new recordings in here. So my import uh, finished in here and if I now look at my customer edit down here again, if I look under recordings, I'll see I now have version 2 and version 3 in here. So basically the new features has been imported. If you have added your own recordings, they would have remained in here, of course, the same way as the other one did in here. The extra recordings are also in here. We have done one last change in here, and if you try to import um, our permissions groups, you see that uh, one of the names don't match any longer. So if I open up this text file, I can see in here it's now called ES tech all free object in here. So it used to just be called all free OBJ, that one. Uh, if you want to make that last little change in here to the data, you can actually go here instead of the all free in here, go to advanced, edit this one, paste in the new value.
and um, put in a new value in this field also in here. Um, so in that way, you have now been able to use the new um, permission groups that we also deliver for segregation of duties if you want to do that. The last piece is optional. You don't really have to do that any longer. But that basically concludes the upgrades uh, of EC security from an ES40 version to the latest version. There's no reason to run any of the implement changes in code or functions like that one. Um, all of that one is actually the exact same as it used to be in here.